Hey there. It is uh, May 3rd. Must be Friday. You know what I forgot to mention last week? Speaking of which, I'm back, like, safe and sound in the comforts of the TG cabin here. And, uh, new shirt, too. Had to, had to do a little shopping while I was in Hilo last week. Um, and, uh, what did I forget to mention, though? That we sort of, this sort of passed without uh, crossing our radar. We're getting too old, I guess. And that is that uh, we are now officially four years old at TG. So I want to thank everybody for hanging around and, and stuff. I know we had a little mention of it a, a month or two back on the forum, but um, I, kind of, I think we figured the official date was April 26th or something, but I count as May 1st nowadays because uh, it's easier to remember. May Day. May Day Malone. Um, let's see, there was a lot going on and um, I also, man, I've been playing some fun songs lately. I've been thinking about getting, you know, we're, we're doing a little bit more of this classical stuff. about getting into the jazz world. So I've been listening to little Dan Hicks lately. Anyway, um, gotta, 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 gotta get some of Dan's songs happening here. Maybe this one, huh? Let's get to the news. Got it. Got it. Oh man, got a lot to get through. I shouldn't have started off with just playing and goofing off so much because it's gonna be a busy day around here. Um, but so we had some cool target things. I'm gonna talk mostly. I want to. I want to get to some things that were happening on the forum and, talk, and answer a few questions and, and things like that. So I got to give you the quick rundown on what we had. We had a couple of cool tunes. This one, of course. I got a couple students working on some more of these Dawes tunes, and uh, I just am. am uh, They've just been really fun. Um, anyway, that was, of course, How Far We've Come, and a nice little finger-picking song that uh, is, is uh, kind of hard to keep it smooth and rolling, you know? And speaking of hard to keep it smooth and rolling, the Stranger song, the Leonard, uh, Leonard Cohen song, was another one of those that I think was deceptively... Maybe not deceptively. I think it's more difficult than it sounds. When I was working on that with Ed a couple of uh, a month or so ago, he says, I never even thought that was very hard. He never paid that much attention to it, to what the guitar was really doing. But now we know that that is, it's, it's tough, what, what Leonard's doing in there very quickly. So, And then um, got a little, little sight reading exercise. Oh, I do have to answer uh, the question out there as to what the heck was going on when, um, when I st started treating it like a... Um, uh, a sight reading drill flashcards. I use the term flashcards sometimes to mean just look at a note and be able to play it as if somebody flashed it up in front of you. And I believe what I did there probably, I can't remember now exactly, but um, I played the notes in random order and it was probably backwards from the end of the song to the beginning. Completely unrecognizable as far as the melody goes. It's kind of like hearing somebody talk backwards. You have no, you can't make out a single word when you hear, hear a tape run backwards very often. So. Um, let's see, what else do we have happening? Jim Page, we finished up our visit with Jim with, um, funny that the thing came up about sad songs because that reminded me of some of the songs that, uh, this one's not so bad. But when I think about sad songs, I think about some songs off, of, particularly the first um, Mark Almond album, uh, The Ghetto and Tramp and the Young Girl, that one is really down. So, um, okay, but let's not go there. Oh, another one of those I always liked. About learning to drink whiskey and gin from his parents, or, yeah, what am I living for? From the third album, I believe. Uh, okay, let me see, get back on track. Uh, Mark Almond, we talked about sad songs uh, a little bit. I was somewhere else. Oh, Anna Mae. We did have, uh, so Jim, Jim had one of his kind of, kind of sad tunes. Well, kind of. And, um, and I, again, I really want to thank Jim for just taking the time out to, to come visit us and, and hang out. As I believe it was Scott, somebody did notice that it was, uh, that it seemed like an abrupt ending. What happened was we kind of looked at the clock and realized, oh my God, we both have to be someplace. This is it. You know, 
Um, I think we'd set aside about an hour to hang out and it stretched into about two. So we were, um, yes, <laughs> abrupt ending. And uh, let's see, oh, and I love that tune he played at the end, the Lightning Hopkins song. So that was what, uh, what else we, we dropped out there. So that's it for Jim. Now next week I'm going to have another kind of epi few ep some episodes uh, of somebody I met in Hilo. And I, well, I hope to get to this. I can't promise it too much. But it's kind of interesting, the, uh, the thread that came up on the forum about uh, do you ever stop to listen to uh, people when they're busking on the streets and stuff. And uh, um, met somebody in Hilo that that was his plan for the rest of the day, was to go out and sit out in front of a coffee house. And uh, he told me later, I uh, ran into him that night, this is going to be a long, uh, you know what, I should save this story for once you see who I'm talking to with this guy named John. But anyway, uh, got thrown out of the sidewalk from the guy that ran the restaurant behind the sidewalk that he was hanging out in. More on that story next week, probably. So, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, I did, last, last touch on Hilo. Um, I, uh, I know it was kind of, a, kind of a personal thing, but I just decided to share um, Rebecca's little story with everybody. And, well, and, and I'm sure some of you probably knew the story about Papa's guitar anyway, but um, it was, it was kind of neat to hear, for me at least, to, to, to hear her tell it. My wife uh, couldn't even watch the video. It was a little too emotional. But it was, it, was, it was really cool that Rebecca wanted to do that. And uh, I, of course, had, um, I had to say yes when she said, would you come out here and play this? It wasn't, it wasn't much of a deal. I mean, much, much of a, an argument. So, um, let's see. What else do I want to talk about? Finger picking, nails, thumb picks. Uh, I mentioned this a little bit. I got on this a little bit last, last week. But, um, yes, as most of you know, I use a thumb pick occasionally. But I also use nails as much as possible. And I, while I, the last week or so, I've had a, a bad nail week because my first fingernail, the nail on my index finger, uh, kind of got destroyed and it made it really tough. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I, was, when I recorded that uh, study number one, I was not playing it very well because the nail was not, not working very well, but they're, they're getting back there now. And um, I think I'm going to take up the nylon string guitar because that's a little, little easier on the nails, especially for these, you know, a lot of kind of stuff that, that's screaming guitar stuff. So, um, anyway. But uh, like, like I mentioned before, as many of you know, that a lot of, a lot of people, Tommy Emanuel, Lawrence Juber, people like that, play without nails just because they, they, it's, they can't. Um, now, people like Alex Degrassi and um, many others use acrylic nails, and uh, they sound, sound great. And if uh, it's just a little bit more maintenance, but they're, well, different kind of maintenance, um, but they're really reliable. So uh, I appreciated uh, the people's comments. I think it was Dennis that brought up the... The, uh, his trip to the nail salon and that it, uh, it worked out to be a good thing. So, uh, let's see. Two more things. No, one more thing. I'm down to the last thing, I think, and that is the banner. Um, I believe the banner's in Illinois right now. I think Corey has it. And um, if we, I think we're going to put out like last call for the banner at this point. So if anybody is, um, wants to sign it, because pretty soon we got to get it back here, back here to the mothership for... Uh, for presentation at the camp, and or at least to be available at the camp. So if um, if anybody is that has not signed it would like to would like to have it, you kind of got to jump on it now at least before it before it gets back here. Because I think once it gets back here, it's staying here hopefully safe and sound until everybody else comes out to to join us. So um, okay, my list is finished. I think I can go back to practicing some of the the cool tunes I've been messing with. with this jazz stuff and try to bring you some of it in the near future if I don't get too caught up in the classical stuff I'm trying to work on too. Um, definitely have some cool tunes though coming out so stay tuned next week and well I'm sure most of you do. But that's it. I'm signing off. I got to check in on my other daughter who's in the midst of a big softball tournament right now somewhere in New Jersey. So uh, back to back to online coverage of college sports for me at least. 
and, and of course processing news and all that. Well, anyway. Okay, out of here. See you next week.